Hey, hey yo, I'm Toasted Ideas, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video by Ruined Leon. Uh, the title is, The White Saviors Have Already Ruined Black History Month. I, I'm white, so I'm interested to learn as to how we did it. Uh, or, wait, no, I'm not a savior, hold on. Uh, I did not do it. Uh, anywho, going in. I told you it was coming, I told you to be prepared, and if you weren't, that's your fault. On the first day of Black History Month, the white saviors gave to me. Hi, fellow white people. Black History Month is tomorrow. Let's not do anything to ruin it this Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Wait, what? what? I guess white people are shown as teeth do, do i have this right gave to me hi fellow white people i guess white people are now depicted as teeth because black people don't have that i guess sure oh black history month is tomorrow let's not do anything to ruin it this year okay my fellow milk crickets Okay, so we're now depicted as white teeth and also milk crickets. Whatever, whatever that means, I guess. We're gonna be good this year. Yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let me get this right. Uh, Black History Month, sorry, Black History Month is tomorrow, but we're gonna be good this year. Uh, forget about the fact that it's already a month past the start of this year, but apparently we're gonna be good this year instead of just this month. Which, I mean, sure, I guess that's a good point to make. We should be good for the year, but, um, why did you have to point out Black History Month then if you said we're just gonna be good this year? Uh, like, what? Ha that doesn't make canonical sense at all. Oh! And if we are, maybe you'll get a prize. But you have to be good. You can't ruin Black History Month this year. <laughs> can't ruin History Month this year. So, okay, so let me get this right, kids. So we're not going to ruin Black History Month by being good the entire year, even though the entire year includes Black History Month. So let's just say if we were good for the entire year, then we wouldn't need Black History Month in that phrasing because why not just say, hey, let's be good this year. It's, it's grandstanding. It's annoying. Um, anywho, I have to say patronizing people is not patronizing. I'm using the right, right word here. Uh, patronizing. I didn't spell that right, did I? Oh, I did. Apparently, apparently kind or helpful, but portraying the feeling of superiority uh, slash condescending. Yeah, condescending, pa patronizing. Uh, patronizing people is not how you create goodness. I don't know if you know this. Uh... Like, let's say, for example, your boss being like, Oh, it is a little bit difficult to wash the dishes. Yeah, see, that's not going to help you, like, wash the dishes faster or cleaner. It's just going to make you be annoyed at the a-hole your boss is. Patronizing doesn't help anyone. In fact, it just creates more animosity. So, this lady is not helping at all for the black people culture at all it, it she's not helping she's not she's just grandstanding and it's not helpful in the in any sense okay thank you my babies bye put a sock in it oh my god listen to me and listen to me well i do not care how any of you view the world if you are a white savior hear me the poor disenfranchised african-american who you think can't afford anything but has more money than you will ever have no matter how much privilege or supremacy you think you have you do not and i repeat you do not have to go around and embarrass yourself for the gratification of a bunch of people who don't like you it is pointless it will never be anything that leads to any form of benefit for you spiritually emotionally or financially you have heard 
many black people talk down upon you based on your skin color. And for some reason, there are individuals who are white that buy into this to the point where they think they're somehow going to be invited to the barbecue if they talk down on white people. No, you look delusional and you look stupid. Mr. Speaker, Walgreens is planning to close yet another pharmacy in the Massachusetts 7th, this time on Warren Street in Roxbury, a community that is 85% black and Latino. This closure is a part of a larger trend of abandoning low-income communities like the previous closures in Mattapan and Hyde Park, both in the Massachusetts 7th. I, okay, I have to say this. I find it crazy how people actually think corporations care about them. That is such a crazy thing. I think that is such a misstep in society. Why do people think that companies actually give a crap about you? The companies are going to say what they want to say if it brings them money. If it doesn't bring them money, they're not going to say it. But I don't know why these people think that corporations actually care about their feelings on where they live or what economic... Like, if you're not bringing them money, they don't care about you. I don't know why you think they care about you. There was no declaration of them saying we care about you. There might have been like grandstanding them saying that they care about you. But let me make this very clear. They don't give a crap about you. If you don't give them money, you don't matter. You know, it's the whole entire situation of are you a customer or not? You can't say you're a customer just because you exist in the building. You actually have to purchase something and then you are a customer. And if you purchase something, then the company actually cares about you because you purchased something. You gave them money. And if you didn't give them money, then one, you're not a customer. And two, they don't care about you. They, they, I don't... Uh, why do people think that corporations care about them? That is That is the craziest thing, I think, in this entire society nowadays people actually think like google cares about their feelings on anything people think that anybody cares about what or sorry no maybe not anyone but like i don't know why people think corporations care about them i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it. I, don't, I don't know why people think that corporations care about them when a Walgreens leaves a neighborhood, they disrupt the entire community and they take them and they take with them baby formula, diapers, asthma inhalers, life-saving medications, and of course, jobs. These closures are not arbitrary and they are not innocent. They are life-threatening acts of racial and economic discrimination. That life-threatening? Life-threatening? What? Oh my days. I can't believe we live in such an existence where people think that a building not being around is life-threatening. Like, that weed shop nearby. Man, if that building got torn down, I think my rights would be getting indignified over here. I, like, I need that weed shop here. Even though I don't shop at the weed store, I need it because it's, it, like, it brings me comfort. It brings me self-assurance that... I don't fucking know. I guess I just like it. <laughs> like, wh why? Why do we live in a plane of existence where people are placing corporations? Or corporations! Just corporations! I don't know why people are placing corporations on their ability to live. I That is, like, the craziest thing to me. Like, go shop somewhere else. Go, go, I, I don't know. I don't, it's not, it's not life-threatening. Like, it's not. It, it just isn't. I don't care how many times you tell me it is. I'm going to keep on telling you it's not. And if a corporation is what is between you and death, then, oh my god, I have to say, you need some bath water. Because how the fuck did you get there? How the fuck did you get to a point where a corporation, once again, someone who doesn't actually care about you, is the difference between life and death for you? How did you get there? How did you make that mistake? And can you tell me how you did? Because I don't want to make that mistake myself.
Everything else you're gonna see this month is a bunch of stupid people grasping at straws, trying to get some attention, just like this white woman, just like many other white women. And guess what? Because I'm still a little bit petty deep inside, and I still want to know how is paying thousands of dollars as a white man or white woman, primarily a white woman, to some organization teaching you on how to not be racist going to help you not be racist? You could just look at the world and see some stupid shit and say, you know what? Don't wanna do that. Oh wait, I'm stupid because even doing that is somehow rooted in some form of bigotry because you're not giving forth any money or you're not bowing down and kissing some black person's dark ass because hmm, that's what you're supposed to do to prove to everybody you're not some bigot who just upholds white supremacy. In the year 2023, it also amazes me how many people are like, well, I don't see color or it would be so much better if we just didn't worry about someone's skin tone. You as an individual, are contributing to the problem because can it Kate I, I guess today is the day I out myself as being uh white I guess I look I'm of the stance that saying I don't see color is a very it's like it's not a bad statement to say like it's very rudimentary it's very simplistic to understand what it means I and can I also say this? It is crazy to me how many people I have heard say this same statement, like just being on the internet, saying the same statement of saying, oh, I don't see color is a form of uh, 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 ra racism. And yet, every single time I have heard anybody talk about white culture, anybody who says, oh, I'm from Ukraine, oh, I'm from... France, oh, I'm from any other white country, anybody I have heard that is like, I mean, every single time I've heard that I'm a, a white people talk about how I'm from here, Greece, or from Canada, perhaps, or from US, or somewhere other, somewhere that is uh, uh, typically white, every single time. That has ever happened or and I'm watching like per se a black creator or sometimes even a white creator They always make the statement of oh, so you're white Like where where did the whole entire thing of not seeing color is racism go? Oh, it's okay. It's okay for me to like notice Black people or different black cultures, but me noticing white cultures. Oh, that's weird I Anywho, as our broader society sees color and it's not just physically seeing a color, there is so much more to it than just that. And if you don't understand that you are again, part of the problem. I wonder what she would say if I were to say I'm Ukraine. I wonder what she would say. Would she just say, oh, cool. Or would she understand what that means? Would she, I, I'm not Ukraine. Or I actually have no idea. I might be part Ukraine. I have no fucking idea as to where my mom comes from, but the point still stands. If I said I came from any culture that is white people, would she just make note of it being like, oh, so you're white? Or would she be like, oh, I understand. Would she actually care? Or would she just chalk it up to another white person? I, I'm genuinely curious on this because I would like to know. It would just... Be a little bit interesting to understand, but anywho, I guess, because my opinion doesn't matter, I guess. And it's just yeah. to keep telling people that over and over is so frustrating. And I was just on TikTok and there's a trend where parents are teaching their kids not to see color, quote unquote. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> so the next round of people that are going to be joining our workforce, this next generation are going to be dealing with the same issues that we're dealing with now. OK, I. I understand that there's different cultures. I understand that. But what is the whole problem with just saying, I don't see color? I, what is the problem with that? Like, yes, everyone has their own culture. Everyone grew up in a certain way. But at the same time, if I don't recognize that there's a difference between you being black and me being white, then isn't that subsequently getting rid of racism? Racism? Am I wrong? I genuinely don't think I am.
because racism exists because people notice the color difference. Right? Ugh, I guess maybe I'm just outing myself as being a racist today. Sorry. Now, because to say you don't see color. No, I'm kidding, I'm not. You don't see me. You don't care to acknowledge the struggles that people like me face. And we're not looking for problems. We're not, <laughs> you know, like. Here's the barest bones I could give you. If you want to exist in this world and not be somebody who's a piece of shit, just don't be a piece of shit. Just that easy. You don't have to speak loud and proud saying, I'm not a racist, look what I do. I'm not a racist, I have black friends. I'm not a racist, I work with black people. You could just be normal, treat everybody. See, that's what I'm thinking. Just, just be normal. Just move in your life, not like, I don't know why we have to realize people are different in order to not be, not be racist. Am I wrong? Like, why do I have to notice that you're not a different person? Why can't I just think of you as a just different person? Why do I have to notice who you are? Like, chances are I'm not going to notice you in the next five minutes because you're probably just in my life for a blink of an eye. Like, why do I have to grandstand understand oh i understand where the black culture is why can't i just be like oh you're black congratulations move on or just move on because you're another motherfucking person why can't i do that why do i have to notice who the fuck you are like chances are i ain't gonna see you in the next 10 minutes and probably forever after that let's be real here but yeah i don't know why we can't just be good people why do we have to like preach to the mountains about how good we are as a person when you could you know just be a good person why is that such a thing outdated in culture tell me that body respect treat people who deserve disrespect with disrespect and go about your day if somebody calls you a racist call them something that's a little bit more obscene so they can know that that is indeed the pot calling the kettle black and all this weird fixation upon individuals who just want to exist and demonize not only themselves but their friends and their family because they're all white you're a fucking weirdo and guess what the poor disenfranchised african-american here does not look at you and think oh my god you saved me. I think, wow, what a fucking weirdo. I hope one day they stop listening to a bunch of people who demonize them based on their skin color. I know you won't, but hopefully seeing me say all this will get you to realize you don't have to do all that to impress me. I'm not impressed by you because I'm already better than you. Why? Because while you're sitting there thinking you have an advantage over me because of your skin color, I have surpassed you in skill, bigger dick, and most succulent toes anyone can suck on because that's how I choose to operate man what an ending uh okay uh anywho but yeah i don't know i don't have anything else to say on this i don't people who do this of anything i think are weird like being a savior i think that's a weird statement like, who do you think you are to do this? Who do you think you are that you can do that? Who do you think you are that you're going to make a difference? Like, sure, it's nice to, like, try and make a difference, but who do you think you are? Are you actually someone who can do this, or are you just doing it for the sake of trying to look good? I don't know. Anywho, uh, if you have any, any comments, like, do you agree or disagree or something else? Perhaps you saw something in the video that you want to make a comment on, but go down in the comments, make them. Uh, and also while you're down there, perhaps you might want to hit that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that other people who may not have seen this video can see this video and become another fellow bread bag in the bread box because once again, we need more bread. Got that? Good. Anywho, I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.